Hello Nuggets, it's your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance and I hope you're doing well. We are going to get into the weekly energies for Aquarius. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it. It helps the channel grow and it's a good karma donation. It makes me feel good, so please do so. If you need to book a personal, the information is provided. Also, um, there are links to my other platforms for more content and uh, other services that I provide. Okay, Aquarius. The channel songs for this week. We have one, and it's Tevin Campbell featuring Prince. And it's round and round. So something is on repeat or there is something that you need to revisit. Um, you and someone could be, you know, repeating a cycle. Take that how it applies for you. Um, I'm hearing the lyric, what we're looking for is uh, still isn't found. So you're searching for something possibly and you're still on the search and it's okay keep looking you'll find it if you don't find it you can create it right all right okay i'm gonna light this really quick because it's i need I, I don't know why but this is very much being called for me to light and that is some sweet grass so all right Channel song was round and round. Hmm. All right, let's get some TT Music Oracle messages for Aquarius. There's two. Let's get one more. There it is. All right. We have Warning by Incubus. So Into You by Tamia. And Cupid 112. Under the deck, we have Yearning for Your Love by the Gap Band. Um. As per usual, the, the readings are linked, so I would recommend you take a listen to the Leo reading, okay, Aquarius? That is your opposite sign, so there definitely could be some, um, be a message in there for you. Um, for some of you, this is a whole lot of uh, love or not even love for some this is like an obsession with someone or someone is obsessing over about you um and it's it's like a, a cycle it's like something that's on repeat whatever this dynamic is it keeps showing up and it doesn't necessarily have to be with the same person it could be the same energy um, in a different body okay but what is going the reason why it's cycling around the reason why it's repeating is because it is something that you need to address it is something that needs to be healed within you for others of you this is um you speaking up you declaring your voice and I, I just keep hearing the I keep hearing the lyric uh, from the song warning bat your eyes girl be otherworldly count your blessings seduce a stranger what's so wrong with being happy kudos to those who see their sickness and that song is very much about you um, living
living your life, you living in the moment, you being present. Um, you know, she woke in the morning. She knew that her life had passed her by. She called out a warning. Don't ever let life pass you by. Whatever this is that's going on for you, Aquarius, is happening right now. You are being told and guided to act now. And for some of you, I'm feeling that there is a lot of hesitation. And in you hesitating, you are, um, I'm hearing, negating your purpose. Slowing down where you are meant to be. All right, let's get some messages from the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck. All right, Aquarius. Okay. And this to me is very much your card. Every time I get this card, it, it reminds me of Aquarian energy. This is uh, the Peacock. And it's, it's an air sign, of course, but this bird does not fly. It, um, the, th this, this bird doesn't fly, but it is still beautiful and valuable and no nonetheless, even though it, it, it is a flightless bird, it is no less valuable. It is no less beautiful, okay? Um, the peacock in, the, uh, in this deck speaks to um, assimilation and being uh, mutable instead of, you know, of course, being fixed and um, stubborn. It's, um, um, for some of you, this is overthinking, overdoing it when it comes to things of the past, um, needing to see things from a, a, a new perspective. That's what I'm getting with this right now, Aquarius. You're needing to um, not be so fixated on something. Allow yourself to um, shut down. I have a whole lot of ringing in my ears right now, especially my right one. Um, you are being asked to um, be accommodating in something hold on hold on hold on let's see what's under uh, the swan is underneath so this is you can't do everything by yourself you may make it look easy you may make it look like everything on the surface especially when it comes to your feelings and emotions you make your feeling you know it, you make it look like everything is cool everything is calm but underneath you are losing your shit and it's it doesn't necessarily have to be you this could be somebody in your environment but right now i believe that this is you trying to you know just keep going and that's wonderful but in you doing so, you are being more damaging to yourself and damaging to those around you rather than, you know, and it's, it's awesome to be, you know, to be the strong one, to be the one that everybody goes to, but it is also very hard and harsh to continually have to be and feel like you have to be and do that because nobody else steps up well if nobody if you don't give other people the chance if you are always the one jumping in and doing how are you giving other people the opportunity 
to step up? How are you giving other people the chance to, um, for some, this is like handle their own karma. I'm going to let that, let you think about that for a second. Because I'm getting a lot of, I mean, like, it's it's like the volume is turned all the way up in your head and in your ears. And it is so fucking loud. But you are doing your very best to kind of block it out and drown it out and just keep going and keep doing and keep pushing but in you doing so and you acting like everything is okay when it's truly not, that is fucking with your nervous system. That is, you know, you doing a lot of work under the surface. You pushing, going, doing, pushing, going, doing on repeat that round and round and round and keeping it going and keeping it going rather than allowing yourself just a little bit of time to truly understand and ground what's happening around you and have that uh have your emotions have your feelings have your thoughts but doing so from a place of calm within yourself not you know making it look like one thing on the surface when truly within you you are losing your shit the time is now all right from the brian frow fairy oracle deck we have card number 32 iris of the rainbows and this is about a pointed focus got that cupid card coming up again this is kind of a cupid card this is um being struck i just heard for some of you being starstruck so you could be you know meeting someone who is like oh oh my gosh to you so you know embrace that be in the moment of that and and not just you know you're that whole trying to be calm thing but on the inside you're freaking out i mean hey that's possible you could be doing that that could be very much uh something that you're doing and it's cool that part's cool but when it's the the other part when it's the heavy shit that stuff needs to be worked out and released for some of you this is you um this oh wow this could be you being nervous about having a crush on somebody and or or really liking someone or admiring them and you are just trying to keep it calm trying to keep your feelings and emotions under control and it's 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 like really not doing great for you it's it's coming out more and more and more but you don't want it to and you not being in control of that is making you angry and instead of things coming out in the fashion of uh, this is what you like, this is what you enjoy, this is something that, you know, is really cool and makes you happy, it's coming out as being a bitch or an asshole. Real talk. We don't hold no words back around here. I love you. That's why I give it to you like this. Underneath the deck, ha! Huh? Underneath the deck we have card number 20, the dark lady. This is that deep emotional stuff. This is like that that Scorpio energy of um, fire and passion, but also rage and and deep dark shadow shit. You've been through it. You've gone through it. You're doing it. You're holding on to it. Is what I'm hearing. You're holding on to it. And some of you 
and you holding on to this hurt and rage and and whatever these heavy dark feelings that you're having are uh, that you are having it's it's you you're throwing darts when you really want to be um, shooting arrows and there's a difference there's a difference and this could be you with yourself you know hurting yourself with all these thoughts and emotions and overthinking and trying to you know keep everything under control when you're really losing your shit this could be someone you towards someone else somebody towards you this could be you know how someone is is you know it, it um creating an environment that they're making you feel this way or um you towards them take it how it applies all right we'll get a message from the psychic tarot Yeah, we have card number five, emotional loss. This is the five of cups in a traditional tarot, emotional loss. This is you um, looking and searching for the light. Your heart is broken and you are doing your very best to keep all of that under wraps to keep all of that within yourself you're trying it's like you're trying to hold your own heart together but in doing so it is uh very much echoing out your you, the more you try to hold this hurt and this pain in the more it comes out energetically as rage it comes out energetically as as hurt as pain this dark lady energy this um dark night of the soul kind of um it is it's it, it's coming across damn it aquarius i need y'all to get it together whoever this is i'm tapping into whatever it is that you you're, you're going through it's that that um uh, this dark lady is the the not so high vibrational not high frequency um uh it should now this is this is the the energy of uh maleficent uh, and it's it's the 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 one with um what is her name hmm can't remember what her name is right now. I can see her face. But I can't remember her name. It's so bad. And the only thing I can think of right now is her husband's name. And it's, uh, her husband is Brad Pitt. And I don't remember her name. And I know I know it. But um, it's that story of, you know, being an otherworldly being. And meeting someone who is... Uh, who's human and you two falling in love with each other and very much you know you know kind of growing and growing up together and you in love with each other and this human this person breaks your heart they betray you it's the biggest level of betrayal that you could ever possibly have is you giving your heart to someone and they 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 betray you and break your heart and then in you in in doing that you taking all of that hurt that pain that rage and instead of uh you healing it instead of you um working to uh, just you know see that for what it for what it was or for what it is with that person you are lashing out on the world 
regardless of if you you know you try to make it seem like it's everything's a-okay and cool on the surface you are energetically projecting out all of this rage onto the world and you're and it's very much um hurting not just the people that you are raging at but it's hurting you too and it's keeping that cycle going round and round and round and round and round it keeps it going rather than um, you taking the responsibility and the accountability for yourself to go through all that dark night of the soul deep healing shit and being responsible and accountable for yourself you cannot change another person you cannot change what happened to you but what you can do is evolve and use that pain that hurt and that rage and direct it into something that you know turns that pain into purpose it turns that pain into power and it it changes it from the darkness, from the heavy of it, to something that is more uh, promising. Under the deck, we have uh, victory and success card number six. So whatever that, whatever that rage and vengeful energy is, be that you or somebody else, whatever it is, you succeeded. You got what you wanted. But it, again, in the long run, is creating more strife, more heartbreak, more pain in uh, those around you. Advice from the Spirit Animal Oracle deck. What is the advice for Aquarius? Okay, we have two. We have card number seven, B Spirit, Sweet Results Await. And card number 50, Rhino Spirit, Overcome Any Obstacle. In you overcoming these obstacles, you get the sweet reward that you actually do want. In you um, channeling this hurt, this heartbreak, this... Um, stuff that you're going through allowing the change that you want and that you need um, in order for things around you to be what you truly desire them to be rather than trying to do it from a place of uh, manipulation and control it frees you up to receive the sweeter things all right under the deck we have card number 47 pig spirit use your mind wisely let that marinate let that marinate I am speaking to those who are spiritually minded and spiritually gifted knowing your worth one knowing but also knowing your power Hold on a sec, guys. This is on you, Aquarius. This is on you. I'm going to let that marinate let y'all do that. Let's see. The Starseed Oracle message for Aquarius. We have lost lands, soul memories, and gifts. You've done this before. Again, that round and round, it's on you to get off the wheel. It's on you to focus on what needs to be healed for you rather than, you know, the pointed um, everybody else getting your, your, your rage and your wrath. You're recognizing that rage and wrath and that um that dark lady energy and it doesn't have to be a female this could very much very much be a male but in his low frequency feminine energy and 
that energy being directed at whoever you don't even care this is you directing that energy very negatively and in doing so it's uh, it's harmful for not just you it's harmful for everybody that you come in contact with under the deck we have hirons uh, longing for home homesick for the stars and I'm gonna spell that because I'm sure I'm probably not saying that correctly it is H I R A E T H. All right. Longing for for things of the past and staying in the. It's it's not even longing for things of the past. It's repeating past um, patterns, and you're being asked to. Um, take from those past patterns that things that you have learned the the truest part of the success rather than the the hurt part of uh the victory and success the the um the triumphing over others with the low frequency low vibrational darts and uh energy and what have you taking from that you know yeah you you may have won the you won the battle but in the long run you're losing the war all right i'm gonna leave that there aquarius and i hope to God that you get something positive out of it you are able and capable of um, using what you know using your gifts for a higher purpose and recognizing the, the power that you hold and the power that you have all right um, I am not seeing any any other signs here other than well I take that back you could possibly be dealing with a Scorpio or this could just be Scorpio energy. Okay? All right, Nuggets. I love you. I love you from my soul. And I send you all blessings and light. Take care.